Well, good evening there, everyone. Welcome to Carpo After Dark. Today I'm sitting out here. I took a couple tokes of Durban Poison. Uh, very fine, pure sativa cannabis. And uh, grabbed myself a bottle of Trader Joe's brewed ginger beer. And uh, now I'm going to sit out here and rant. What am I going to rant about? I'm going to rant about those other people. Why do those other people have to think the way they think instead of the thinking the way I think? You know, those other guys, their ideas are so old school, they just don't get it. Those other guys are totally asleep. Those other guys just don't understand where I'm coming from. Those other guys. The other people. The other team. <laughs> uh, let me gather myself and take a sip of my ginger beer. Okay. The other guy syndrome is something that we all share, and uh, I think it's just part of who we are as a human. I mean, I, I can't only speak for myself, but I can speak through observation and watching the way that we behave, that if we don't find something to attach to that we agree with, then we end up wandering around aimlessly with no point. If we haven't made a goal to work towards one particular thing, then we tend to kind of float and wander around. And uh, when we do attach ourselves to an idea and try to really make a difference, we tend to get bored with it sometimes because maybe it loses its steam. It's not the same idea it was when we first started out with it. Um, or maybe it's just not as big of a deal as some people think it is to us. So we're just like, well, whatever. You know, like one person may be very strongly you know, a strong advocate of, say, uh, say abolishing nuclear power. And uh, another person may be a complete advocate of nuclear power, but only in order to, like, say, get off fossil fuels temporarily to save us. And both people may have great arguments about why we should go that route. Both people are really pointing the finger at each other, saying, those guys, those guys, but in, in, in fact they agree on more points than they realize. It's just that they have different methods and ideas about it. And I think that's what people do all the time uh, with everything. Like, two people will mostly agree on something, yet fight over semantics or the spelling of a word or the title of something or the way a person, you know, a person's particular opinion about one thing. I don't know how many videos I've made in the past where I've tried to make as many reasonable points as I can without being, you know, judgmental or harsh, and then uh, the person picks out the one thing that I say that's maybe contradictory or, you know, maybe that I didn't mean or maybe that I did mean but they just don't agree with, which is totally understandable. If the person doesn't agree, they're going to find that point, but, you know, I'm just saying that uh, we come to expect that as humans, that a person's going to find something they don't agree with and that's going to be the focal point because when you already agree on a subject there's no point in just going oh yeah patting each other on the back so that's why I do these videos somewhat you know so you know I can get pointed if, if, if I find I'm you know uh, in the wrong then I can correct that but it takes humility to do that and it, it's hard because I'm human and I have an ego just like everybody else so uh I guess my inspiration is people that, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt, let everything roll off their back, and just don't even sweat it, which is what I try to do in my life, but, uh, you know, the internal plight of each one of us is, is uh, we're seeking uh, approval, not by other people, but just by society in general. In other words, we want to feel like we're doing the right thing so our fellow man can respect us. At least that's what I think that each man, man and woman should be working towards, you know, to where we don't have to hide any fact of ourself or hide any part of ourself because it, we just are who we are. We acknowledge that. I mean, none of us are perfect people. We all have these this baggage we carry with us, and uh, <laughs> it's just who we are. And it's fun, you know. People are fun. Life is fun. It's awesome to get to know people, meet people. Or it can choose to be scary, depending on how we view it. So, take care, everybody. Have a good night.